The story of almost every Hue Fest has been getting so close and just feeling like you have all the momentum and then all of a sudden one or two things happen and, it, and it's going the other way. We have three games today, we have four games tomorrow, and then on Sunday, depending on the score line, top four plays semis, and then we have finals after that. Um, we just beat Harrisburg, and we beat UC earlier, and now we're on to MU next. So, yeah. You can play after Winwall. After I got it. Let's go, boys. Oh, we're good. We knew we had great pieces to build around already here in, in Denethor and Mobility, two really young players that, um, you know, probably deserve a lot more hype than they get like they're both incredibly talented um, players and we knew that you know we could build around those two If we weren't, oh, I think we were just over risk Because if we just take like Zaya 1 2 and do like a normal draft, like, it gets probably free. I can't engage on Zaya. Yeah. I can't engage on Alpha. Yeah, yeah. Akshan is fading, going invisible. Yeah. It's and then. Problem. It was a hard game. After, and then, yeah, and so then it feels like I have to wait for Ari Charm. Because if I like don't wait for Ari, because I need to like make sure that I'm engaged is good. Yeah. One more engage is probably the game ender. Yeah. And so I'm just looking on off Ari Charms because it's easier. Bringing on Artemis was like the probably the most impactful because you know we've had coaches in the past and we've had great coaches in the past um, we've always been our best when we've had great coaching though um, like it starts with them and their ability to create culture and, and drive he's really good at motivating these guys to be the best that they can be and like at the end of the day that's what you know that's what we needed and that's probably the most important change that we got coming into this year and probably the most impactful role 
for this team is is in you know the coach spot for us. Like uh, that game, I just wasn't happy with the draft because it felt like it was only like, I mean maybe if it goes, uh, we're supposed to move on. I just felt like I could have done more to set you guys up, so we'll have uh, more tools in the next draft. It's fine. We dropped the game. It is what it is. Let's keep taking care of business. We're, we're, we're on the same path as we were before, so let's go ahead and, and win this next game. Match against Maryville um, in the semis. I always hate to play them so early in a tournament. Like, if it were up to me, like, it would just be the finals of every tournament. I have such like insane respect for them. I always want to be playing the best team and the best program. I feel like they're a program that does things the right way. The Maryville versus Winthrop story to me is always the the penultimate. It was a situation where you know it wasn't their tournament. Like, they just, it happens, and it's happened to me, you know, five times before. And um, so I've, I had been in those shoes. Like, this time was different. We made it to the finals. It's the first time that my team has made it to a finals um, at Hugh Fest, the, all six years. You know, Hugh Fest always kind of meant, like, I'd be coming home heartbroken or whatever. I always just imagine, like, traveling home with the trophy and I've never actually um, I've never really actually done that like from a land like I'm, I'm even like looking at these and I'm thinking like like not a single one of those were not a single trophy that we have is something where we went out and took the scalp and got to go home with it like, I think about that at events like like man I really want that trophy and I want to take it home and put it where it belongs We are here with the grand finals of League of Legends here for this weekend. Everything going the way of Winthrop. This game has gotten very fast paced, but it's been Winthrop who have that jungler that was able to ramp, has the AD that has the items right now that's pumping, and man, Mobility Trickster, they made a big difference in this game. And this is a holistic game one win from Winthrop. They're just putting the finishing touches on it, crossing those T's, dotting those I's, and 1-0 in our best of three grand finals. Looking, they're gonna die. break the base and they go straight in. Death charge used on the three members, and then it first divide to push Winthrop out from safety's wow. grasp. Wow. They wipe the floor with Winthrop. They take the tier two in the top side, and it's just Denethor and Trickster left to try to defend the base. This is looking like a three game series here in our grand final. Uh, we only have one job right now, and that's to get the vibes back, get the, the good moments going again so we can win game three. Artemis said, we're gonna win everything this year. Like literally that was part of his interview and about coming here. I knew this team was talented. And so, yeah, was, we're definitely hopeful. Uh, and then thought, yeah, it probably should be us. Well, Mavodi's gonna get bot prio, so they should be able to play oh, for bot, oh, but Darkwings oh, went oh, in. Oh, no Darkwings black. went in at the wrong time. Denethor has showed up. And that's a big crock. Darkwings under trouble. Gets killed in the end Look by sword. sword. And he's going forward now as well. A little bit of trouble winning. He wants to try to save his life. Wait, it's gone coming in. You got the re-engage there on a Denethor. This is chaos. Glacial Prison goes wide oh. from winning. And oh. in the end, it's Skytech who goes down. Winthrop are off to the races. Is back there. Maybe they're baiting him as Fate's Call nice. comes through. Yeah. Now Trickster is about to go down in that double ADC composition. Sword? is starting to work. Oh, we got oh, caught. Denethor. Got caught. Oh, Denethor. 
My boy is coming in! A double kill for the man himself. The Crocodilian scales are shining right now, and Winthrop are just running away. Truly really would be. They're gonna be a bit reserved on that one. Baron is coming. Oh! Killing <laughs> games on the dock zone. It might just no need to now. go forward. Yeah. They have no defenses! Mobility goes unstoppable! And Winthrop, they once again decimate Slu! There ain't nothing left here but a Winthrop win! Wrap it up, baby! Winthrop, they're gonna be hoisting our trophy here at Harrisburg as they had an impressive tournament. They were not the top team. I didn't see him so stressed. They are the top team in the end. Winthrop University, they oh! will put the final touches on St. Louis University. It's been a run we've all seen coming, and they are your official Hugh Best 2023 Grand Champion. Chicago land next or what? A little 2-0 maybe? Into like a 3-0 Comic-Con, into like a 4-0 uh, Seal, perhaps? Perhaps? Perhaps, maybe. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd be good. Ah, okay. We're gonna go in minor as well, as well man. <laughs> yeah, it's been, a, it's just been a long time coming. There's been a lot of people who, you know, have come in and come out without, you know, they've come into this program and left this program without you know, winning at Hugh. Those guys set the set the trail, set the foundation for growing into being a team that can consistently win like that. I mean, we'll see if we can run it back next year. We'll see how we do at Sea Law. You know, can we make this a habit? Like that's the that's the goal. Making continue to make winning a habit. Continue to stay on top.